sides getting worse and worse. What are officials doing to curb that epidemic? News Channel 9's online media producer, Bianca Cervantes, investigates. Military posts are now implementing yoga and meditation programs to treat psychologically wounded soldiers returning from combat. This potential solution has made it to central El Paso, where a special program identifies with the causes of the disorder. I think it's, it's exposure to, uh, to combat. You know, combat is very intense on the, on the psyche, on the body, um, creates a lot of, sh a lot of tension. Okay, this is, that's what it is, war. Robert's yoga programs teach sufferers of PTSD and any other anxiety disorder to be at ease. He says it starts with concentrating on your breathing while thinking of nothing else. And if you keep the breath connected throughout you know, a yoga class or throughout a say 15, 20, 30 minute meditation, you're able to really allow your body to become really still and, and, uh, and balanced. According to Robert, being still in balance through meditation and yoga allows individuals to regain control of thoughts that sometimes victimize a person's thinking. Right. So a lot of times when we begin to get you know, caught up in our thoughts, it, it can, uh, can in, in, in a downward spiral, as they say, right? Where you're just constantly uh, attached to these, 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 these false ideas of yourself. Military research shows it's this false negative thinking that may be contributing to the peak in suicides. The good news is, studies show that meditation and yoga practices not only help soldiers regain their control of negative thinking, it improves their quality of life, provides increased feelings of calmness, and reduces anger, while helping them deal with past trauma from combat. Bianca Cervantes, News Channel 9. And for more information on where these special programs are offered, you can visit our website, ktsm.com. And coming up on